We are here at MWC talking to Chris Wright, who is the CTO and Senior VP of Engineering at Red Hat. I'm delighted to be talking with you today, Chris. Um, as I'm walking around the floor, a lot of the conversation is surrounding the issue of how to monetize 5G and eventually even 6G. So when you're talking to the service providers, how are you advising them in terms of what can help them monetize 5G? Well, first of all, I'll start with Red Hat has a very um, open view of the world. So we think about Absolutely. open source and collaboration sure. and working together. And I think that's a key tenet to monetization. Um, mm -hmm. But I'll actually say there's two aspects to this and it's about business fundamentals. One is optimizing for the expense side. So how can you really improve your operational efficiency? I think that's a really critical part of just mm -hmm. having a, you know, a functional business. And then uh, as we look to increasing revenue, because we know 5G deployments are expensive to build, deploy, roll out. Um, as Absolutely. we look for the monetization side, um, I think that openness is, is really important. And we look at different ways you can intersect with customers. There's a lot of enthusiasm around edge opportunities. Um, the definition of edge is unique for each different industry and uh, different kind of use cases. So how you can be flexible as a service provider to make sure your infrastructure is consistent, independent of whether it's in the core of the network, in the radio access part of the network, connected to Mac or even bridging into public clouds. These are all important footprints. And I think when you think about operational efficiency, having consistency across those platforms or those footprints is really important. Um, allows you to meet your customers where they are and then focus on uh, bringing the enterprise into the private 5G world or multi-access edge compute and what are the key open partnerships you need to establish to address these more industry specific use cases. I think those are great ways to think about monetizing uh, the 5G investments. Yeah, excellent, excellent points. So you've brought up the whole issue of the cloud, of course. We're surrounded by the cloud these days. Um, carriers are really struggling to juggle the issues of private versus hybrid versus public cloud. They're having a challenge in how best to partner with the hyperscalers. What is your advice to them when we're talking about this issue of cloud and how best to leverage it as a service provider? Well, cloud is could be defined in different ways. Sure. Let's take cloud as a set of principles, a way to operate, a way to think about how you build and deliver software. Um, that's independent of whether that's in your own private data center or you're consuming something through a hyperscaler, a public cloud provider. Mm -hmm. uh, so getting to that cloud mindset is really critical to the operational efficiency that I was mentioning earlier. It's also an, an entire industry transformation. So we're bringing applications from vertically integrated bespoke appliances into cloud native containers and this sort of next generation of, mm -hmm. of infrastructure and applications. So that's an important part of thinking about cloud and, and even partnerships. Traditional suppliers supplying software as containers that can run on a container platform is, a, is an important part of the journey to cloud. Uh, and then there's the question of which workloads run where. Um, and that is a great question. There's going to be opinions and Certain areas are optimized for uh, certain types of workloads. And there's no one answer, is there? I think we're still figuring out what is the best way for each different provider. Mm -hmm. um, but if you look at the cloud providers, you got to think of those as, as partners. You think of platform infrastructure providers like Red Hat, you got to think of us as partners and the, and the broader ecosystem and where we can come together and provide that cloud operations, the fast moving agility that I think helps address market opportunities, the monetization mm -hmm. question, mm -hmm. uh, along with that consistency and operational efficiency to address the, the business fundamentals of running a, a, a sound business. To me, those are the, the places to think about where cloud and, and how cloud and, and why cloud. Yeah, good, good points. So another very hot issue at the show this year is going to be sustainability. And I've been talking with a number of the carriers about this, with a number of the vendors about this. And as a matter of fact, we just published at Heavy Reading a report. And one of the questions was asking our service provider respondents, 
how are you going to address the issue? What is one of the best tactics that you have to address the issue of sustainability? And we suggested things like different, different uh, energy sources. Um, different types of cooling technology, a number of different uh, criteria. And the number one solution, the near-term tactic that they chose was, and I'm going to read this, moving as many functions as possible to a common infrastructure platform. Now, does that make sense to you? What do you think about that? <laughs> Well, it makes a lot of sense to me. Um, it, it, we spend a lot of time focused in that problem space at Red Hat, so uh, I'm, I'm naturally inclined to think the same. Excellent. Um, and if you think about what we've done in the traditional enterprise data center with virtualization initially and now with containerization, that had a lot of focus on um, building better efficiency through mm -hmm. you know, more densely populating servers with applications. We're going through that same process in the cloudification of infrastructure and networks. How can you more densely populate applications to essentially a single server or, or you know, think of it as uh, how much infrastructure do you need to support a set of users? Yep. And the more we can consolidate, the more efficiency we're gaining out of rather than having an application running on a bespoke stack with bespoke hardware, shared infrastructure uh, at the hardware level as well as the platform level is a great way to look at uh, I'd say the first round of energy efficiency. The, the other ideas of uh, you know, hardware choices or cooling choices are, are really important. If we look at the global consumption of energy, it is on the order of 2% right. in, a, in a country powering a network. And yeah. while 5G networks per unit are more efficient, more efficient yeah. the, the way we deliver capabilities with 5G networks is with more radios. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely a concern that we will have more energy hungry networks. So we really need to look at how we build efficient uh, access networks. This is an area I think we have hardware Absolutely. as a key piece yeah. of it, but also software. So we look at it from a platform, platform software point of view and the more you put on the platform, the more efficient you can ensure that overall infrastructure is but the applications need to make smart use of the hardware. Exactly, right. And that's a key piece, which is you know, the, the ecosystem and the openness of how we evolve together. We need to figure out how to make applications respond within the latency bounds so that the networks maintain coherence mm -hmm. um, without chewing up excessive energy in the process. And the first phase, we were pretty energy hungry. So now we really need to focus on how we can make applications more capable of leveraging the hardware efficiencies. Exactly. Uh, and what we've been doing is working with an open source community to build some uh, metrics and monitoring capabilities so we can look not just at the hardware level or the platform software level, but the entire stack to understand where exactly energy is being consumed and then we can optimize the whole stack and really improve energy efficiency, you know, again, at, at these national levels so that we're not building infrastructure that's too expensive for us to run. Exactly. What's the use of deploying a large mech infrastructure if each application running on that infrastructure has its own little silo, rather right. than using the uh, microservices and containers that are part of a cloud infrastructure? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, thank you very much for joining us to discuss some of the issues that we're seeing here at Mobile World Congress in 2023. I appreciate your time. Thank you.